Morning, my name is IFL TV MTK Global. We're at the O2 for Lomachenko Campbell, joined by Savannah Marshall. Happy with that? Yeah, I am. I'm really happy. Uh, my first one was match room, so there was a bit of nerves there. It took me three or four rounds to find my range. To be honest, I thought she would have. Uh, I thought she would have come for me. To be fair, and had a mm. bit of a go. So, but it, it was good. She, she was a tough girl. Um, she was unbeaten. It's all good. So uh, nerves did come into it, being obviously on Skybox office, and they said your match room debut. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Did, did. Okay. Um, how's your how's your cut? Is it okay? Oh, so it was an egg clash. Just a bit of a bump. Mm. All good though, yeah. Yeah, I'm all good. Yeah. Uh, what did Peter say to you after? Um, he was just saying, uh, just find your range with the jab, find the range. And then when I was going back, he was like, you just get on your double jab, your range will come. Because I was I was leaning in a bit, I was a little bit hesitant. Um, but I think after like round four or five, he was like, you need to lean back with your shots. The shots will come off and the backhand was coming off. Mm. Obviously, every interview that uh, you do, uh, a certain name comes up in uh, Clarissa Shield, someone you know very well from uh, before. When do you think that rematch uh, is realistic? 2020? Yeah, definitely. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be this year. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm a big super middleweight. I want to win a world title at super middle. Mm. And have a, have a cracker at uh, middle. Mm. Pit, pit. Peter, do you, mind just, do you mind just jumping in for a second? Do you mind just jumping in for a second, Savannah? You. <laughs> Thoughts? Thoughts? Um, yeah, uh, a little bit eager to please on, on Matchroom Fair Show. Always the same. A little bit of anxiety there. Just leaning over the jab a bit. She had, took her a while to find a range. Mm, she said that, yeah. You know, because uh, she, she didn't come forward. She was stepping back. So... Um, you know, little things, just minute things to work on. Mm. You know, being more coming behind the jab and still finding the range behind the jab, being a little bit more patient. But she likes to get in and get the job done. She likes to land every shot. So, mm. you know, it's got to keep, you've got to keep a rein on her a little bit. But I'm happy with the performance because when she did start finding the range, she started taking her apart. Mm. Cause she's a, a terrific puncher. Mentioned the Clarissa Shields fight, the potential fight with her. Um, it's been talked about a lot. You happy for that to happen in 2020, Peter? Definitely, sometime in 2020, uh, we've we've got a plan for Savannah. Um, hopefully, a world title at super middle this year, and then we'll have a look what happens in 2020, whether she defends that title or goes straight into that. But for me, that's uh, sometime in 2020, to mid to back end, I'd say. If you can bag that world title and have that fight next year, it'll be absolutely huge. Yeah, it'll be definitely. great for women's boxing as well. I, I think it's I think it's the next biggest fight out there for women's boxing. Definitely. It's made properly. All right, Savannah, well done tonight. Uh, Peter, congratulations. All the best uh, with Huey tonight as well. Yeah, thank you. We'll very catch much. you right after that, all right? Cheers. Cheers. Thank you.